Let's go! Stock market bulls and bears. I'm your host, Terry, and welcome to the channel. By the dip, that is right, guys. In today's video, I got something real special for you guys. We got three penny stocks that I'm going to put on your radar, and you can thank me later for these. And we're going to go over each one, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each. And just to keep an eye on them. So guys, hope you're all ready for today's video. If you are, hit that thumbs up and join the Thumbs Up Nation. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Guys, we are getting close to 19,000 subscribers. We're on the road to 20K subscribers. Can we make it happen? So guys, let's get into this video. So baby, let's go. Let's get into SPAC number one. As you can see, the one-year chart is a little scary. It looks a little familiar like Genius Brands. But I think that we have some really possible good news. Now, like I say, it's 56 cents a share. So this is kind of purchase at your own risk. And do your own research before you would decide to invest in this. But if you feel like you'd like to gamble $100 or something... And maybe pick up 100 shares of this bad boy or something like that. You know, get like $56 and get 100 shares. I think it's a great idea to maybe pick it up and see what happens. I mean, at one point, this thing was up to $3 and some. I don't know if we'll ever get back to there. But this uh, penny stock was brought to my attention by a viewer, one of you guys. So I went in, did a little research, and we're going to get into it here. So... 56 cents a share, ticker symbol CIDM, guys, Synagem, and the market cap is really small, a $71 million market cap, so this is a, you know, purchase at your own risk, but for the, for the fun of it, I may just buy 100 shares, or 120 shares, and spend like 60, 70 bucks, and just see what happens in the future, it may double my money, who knows, but for 50 or 60 bucks, it could be worth a gamble, and here's why. So, they just recently actually had some pretty big news. Um, this here was published back on November the 20th, so nine days ago. Um, Cinedim announces My Time Movie Network, a new female-focused linear streaming channel debuted today on the Roku channel. So, it says My Time Movie Network is the first female-focused streaming film network Featuring hundreds of award-winning films, original series, exclusive content, and more. So, there are some positives and negatives. I mean, this is only focusing on the females. It's not trying to get us guys in it. But, females can get really into these films, guys. That's what I'm going to take point at here. These award-winning films, these original series, exclusive content. The women can get into this stuff pretty good and possibly make purchases and buy products which will help them get advertisements and things so i think that is a really key thing so it's a start of something they're building up something and i just really learned about this company literally like just today guys i just wanted to bring it to your attention and a couple articles that i found like i said you guys do your own research on it before you make any purchases but one thing i did find which is pretty cool i'm going to move my head out of the way is that back in April, <laughs> Cinedim attained the exclusive rights to distribute the Bob Ross channel. So if you don't know who Bob Ross is, you may be a young youngin, but I'm getting close to 40, guys. I'm 39 years old, and I remember as I was a teenager growing up in the 90s, Bob Ross was on the TV doing his paintings, man, and he had the most soft, subtle voice in the, you know, the whole soft, subtle voice. He would do his paintings and talk to you. And it would make you feel like you're on like a retreat. And now they have the exclusive rights to distribute his show. So here it says that the new art focused channel will be available worldwide for linear and all the platforms. There's about 380 episodes from the Emmy Award winning series. On April the 16th, they announced the partnership with Bob Ross granting Synodim exclusive rights to distribute the all-new art channel featuring fan-favorite series The Joy of Painting. The Bob Ross channel 
slated to launch Samsung on April the 16th on Roku in May and will be available worldwide. And there's 31 seasons of the beloved painter Bob Ross. So this is one I think we need to keep on the radar. And at 56 cents, like I said, if you're willing to get in there, throw 50, 75 dollars, 100 bucks in it. Throw it in there and forget about it. You know, if we if we double triple our money, that's great. And if we lose it, it's not a big deal. But I think this is one to kind of see what they're going to do. It seems like they are trying to make something happen. They, like I said, back then they got the Bob Ross channel. Now they, here just nine days ago, they got a Roku deal with streaming the My Time Movie Network for female focus streaming. So they are trying, like I said, this is a gamble, but I wanted to bring it to your attention. $71 million market cap. So guys, hope you all enjoyed that one, but let's get into uh, penny stock number two on the list. All right, guys, and penny stock number two is the Hall of Fame Resort, ticker symbol HOFV. Guys, this thing is at a buck 37 right now. And as you can see, this thing was IPO in for $10, and it has just, as soon as it came out, went the whole way down, man. It has not grown, and you may be wondering, what exactly is this penny stock? Well, it's basically going to be an entertainment stock. As you know, then the Rony Rona destroyed all entertainment. So let's go to their website, and let's look about what they are about. If you go here to the Hall of Fame uh, Resort and Entertainment, it says here, I'm going to read this to you, what they're about so we can see that, guys. Okay, so the Hall of Fame Resort and Entertainment is a leading sports entertainment and media enterprise headquarters in Canton, Ohio, established in 2020. The publicly traded company went to the merger with the HOF Village, partnership between the Pro Football Hall of Fame and Industrial Realty Group, which began in 2016 in Gordon Point, under the leadership of seasoned executive Michael Crawford, the combined entity is poised to capitalize on its unique partnership with the most dominant professional sports brand in the country. This platform allows for continued development and integrated destination resort in Ohio named the Hall of Fame Village, powered by Johnson Controls, as well as the entertainment and media verticals for some of the most powerful and story brands in the world. Their vision is to create a one-of-a-kind resort entertainment company pursuing excellence in all what we do. The mission is unprecedented and excess in the best of professional sports. We create experiences that honor the past and inspire the future. So, based on our connection to professional sports, we strive to exemplify these values. Inspiration, teamwork, respect, integrity, and excellence. And if you go here to the press releases, so... Like I said, this is one right now that you may have to buy and hold on to a little bit, but it's a great opportunity because if a vaccine comes out in the next three to six months, they can start getting back into business with these sports, man. Sports is getting hit hard right now. So it's kind of hard, as you can see in this picture, to have that kind of gathering around right now. But with this stock only being $1.37, this is another one that you might want to throw, get 100 shares of it for 100 and some dollars. And just hang on to it and see. But like I said, do your own research, man. These penny stocks can be a little risky because what if we don't get any vaccine? Then it's going to be really devastating. The market cap is only $67 million, so it is really tiny, guys. Real tiny market cap, but just another penny stock I wanted to put on the radar for you guys. And if we go here to the Fintel website, there is people buying it here in November, so that's good news. There is people buying it. Like if we look here, that COE Capital Management bought 24,000 shares. Quinn Opportunity Partners bought 34,000 shares. Wolverine Assets bought 5,000 shares. Bank of America bought 47,000 shares. HRT Financial bought 18,000 shares. Arrow Street Capital bought 141,000 shares. And a lot of these people are all in November. So these are all on the Fintel website, guys of everyone that's buying in November. So people are still buying it because this could be a long hold if they can get up and run the business like they want to do. So like I said, this is one I definitely wanted to get in you guys' attention. Put it on your penny watch looks. Right there it is. Buy HOFV, guys. And now we are going to get into our 
third and final penny stock of All right, the guys, day. and penny stock number three, here it is. FRSX, guys. And there it is. FRSX. Get that right. Put this on your penny stock watch list. Another viewer, man, gave me this one to go over. So we're going to go over it here real quickly. Foresight, not autonomous. And if we go here to it, it's only a buck 21. And this is the one year chart. So this one year chart doesn't look as scary as the rest of them. A lot of those one year charts you saw, they were down low, they shot up to the moon, and then they dipped the whole way down. This one hasn't really did anything crazy. I mean, it was down here and marched down to 52 cents, and now we're up to a buck 21. So, what is this company? And here we have Foresight announces its third quarter 2020 financial results. Foresight Autonomous Holdings is an innovator in the automotive vision systems. And today it reported its financial results for the third quarter ended September 30th, 2020. Foresight ended the third quarter with a 14.5 million in cash and short-term deposits gap net loss of 11.4 million in non-gap net loss of the same period of 10.5 million. And this next part is gonna go over a little bit of their direction for the future of the company and what they plan on doing guys. So I think this next part is why we wanna read this and we get this word for word to get why I think it's a good one. Possibly keep on the radar. Foresight continued to demonstrate steady progress in the third quarter as we established new partnerships with influential players in Europe, Japan, and China, commented the CEO of Foresight. We are confident that our new relationships with the leading companies such as Elbit Systems and Fleer Systems will lead to stable sales growth as we continue to refine, refine our products and technologies based on feedback from our prototype system sales. I'm proud how Foresight has responded to the market situation posed by the pandemic. Also, we have worked not only to maintain stable business performance, but to develop a pandemic symptom screening solution which leverages our leading thermal and visible light camera technology. So I think that is pretty key guys that this is kind of like a good technology company and you're kind of getting them here at a really cheap price. They're even having stuff for the pandemic, FLIR systems, all kind of other stuff. Down here you see um, it had in their third quarter, they also saw notable progress for subsidiary iNet Mobile and our affiliate company, Rail Vision. So a lot of technology in this one here. This could be an interesting one. Technology stuff's pretty hot right now. But if you go here to the Yahoo Finance on it, it's only a $63 million market cap. So it is, these ones today are a little risky. But as you say, risk versus reward. So that is what we're covering in these uh, three penny stocks. I mean, anytime you're in a penny stock, it's a risk. Let's put it that way. But if you don't put a lot of money in it, you throw a hundred bucks in it or something, you know, 200 bucks, then you're not really risking too much for a chance to 2X, 3X, 5X your money in the future. All it takes, as you know, guys, is a little bit of news in one of these companies and to the moon it goes. So which one do you like the best out of these three penny stocks? Comment down below. Which one do you like the most? Are you looking to buy any? Just gonna put them on your watch list. For me, all three of these are on my watch list. And I'm gonna see how this next week or so goes in the market and make a decision if I wanna pick up some shares of these cheap ones and go from there. So guys, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up and join the thumbs up nation. I appreciate and love every single one of you guys, man. So guys, I will catch you in the next one. And remember to buy the dip. Baby, let's go!